Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable the Apple iPhone 14 Pro Dynamic Island on your Android device without having to root it. Now do note this might not be the fully exact replica of Dynamic Island but it is close by. So what do you need to do? You will go to the Google Play Store. Herein, you will search for an application called Edge Mask. Of course, the direct link to the application is in the description of the video as well. Now, once you search for Edge Mask, this is the application which is going to show up and we are going to install this on our device. Once the application has installed, we are going to say open and you will be greeted with a screen like this herein it is asking you to let the application run in the background because if it gets killed then it is not going to work so we are going to select allow over here once you do that you will be on a screen like this here and you see these permissions these are the ones which we need to grant so tap over here and it says display over other applications select edge mask enable this toggle then we are going to go back back on the home screen of edge mask you see notification access two of three select this one here and again notification access edge mask and then allow notification access and allow one more time then we are going to go back go back one more time and the third permission which we need to give is accessibility so select accessibility and then we need to select edge mask and we need to enable the toggle and say allow on the next screen and then we can go back to the main screen of edge mask Herein, next thing we need to do is go into the message section and of course if you see an advertisement you have to bear with it because this is an ad supported build we are going to close this now we are on the messages section you have multiple different style options over here ripple is enabled by default we are going to disable this the one which we are looking for is the samsung message style so we are going to enable this samsung message style toggle bam here it is this is the samsung message style then you see these three lines besides each of the toggles those are to edit it so we are going to tap on the edit option beside the samsung message style and here in you can make other adjustments as well so what is the background color you are looking for if you're looking for a replica of dynamic island then you have to select black over here and select black next up we have message color so tap on the message color beside it and then we should be able to change that so here it is the message color which you're looking for is white red whatever color you want for the purpose of this video let me choose red and we are going to select red then if you want to see two lines you can enable that option and the other things are you can customize are the duration so for duration is how long you want it to appear on your screen and similarly you can change the size as well based on the size of your notch the cutout or punch hole whatever you want to call it and the margin fixes the vertical alignment so with the margin you can either move it below or if you move in the other direction it will move up so if you want to line it up with your notch you have to use the margin option next thing you need to do is you will go into the effect option and herein if you want to enable punch hole lighting you can do that as well here it is punch hole lighting and if you go into the settings for punch hole lighting you can customize your circle the width where do you want it the height the size the vertical horizontal alignment the duration all those things can be customized another super important thing to note over here is that if you do not want dual or double notifications then you have to enable these toggles as well so this duplicate prevent enable this toggle and enable the other toggle as well blocking the system heads up we have to enable this one as well there it is we have enabled it and if you're not able to enable this one then try the one above it now only one of them is going to work so either 
the one which is number one blocking the system heads up or blocking the system heads up again same thing numbers are different only one of them is going to work so enable that as well and with this small tutorial you should have apple iphone 14 pro dynamic island on your android device without having to root it and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you.